Today I want to do a quick overview of the case feed mechanism that's on the Dillon 650. The case feed mechanism happens to be located on station one. It's, uh, it's this station right here and as you see the case feed tube has got no uh, cases in it so let's go ahead and drop some in there and we'll show you how the basic operation of it is. All right, now we got some cases loaded into the case feeding mechanism. First, I want to show you is from the top of the case feeding mechanism, there's this bar that comes down, and it uh, ends up on this slope right here. And what that does is as we pull down on the lever, see how that come, it'll make that case feed mechanism slide out, and then it'll be out all the way to accept a case. So this first ramp right here on the very outside, this ramp right here moves the case feed mechanism outward. Now I will say this is just a spring-loaded mechanism. You can actually press it in and out with your finger. After the first stage has been engaged all the way, the case feeder is out all the way to accept a case. Now the second stage of the case feeding mechanism is the second uh, piece of angled plastic and it will engage to actually press the case and drop the case out. So as we come up, it will engage and drop a case in. And there is the case. As we go forward, and as we go to the resting position, we have to press, as we press the primer in, the case feeding mechanism will continue to go in and seat the case firmly all the way into the shell plate holder. As you release back to the resting position, the case feeder disengages from the case. All right, we're going to pull back on the handle. Case feeder's coming up. It starts to engage, turning the case outward, in which it will drop. Now again, looking at the profile of the case feeding mechanism, this long sloped edge here is for pistols and as it slowly takes the whole length of the stroke to raise up and drop a case in all the way when it gets to the bottom it finally dropped in that is for pistols now if you have a rifle cartridge which is way longer you would actually take this bolt out and this would flip around and you would actually use the shorter profile thus achieving the case drop earlier in the stroke. Now say we want to get a case out of station one after it's already put on there. That is easy as just pressing with your hand and pressing the case feeding mechanism back then sliding the shell holder through the station one locator plate and you have the shell out. Now if you want the same process when you want to go put one in station one and say you let the case feeder go empty and you needed to put one there, it's just as easy. Just pressing back on there, press all the way back, lay the shell down, let, the, let it come back forward and then go ahead and press forward with your lever to make sure that it's properly seated in the shell plate. There are four parts that come in your caliber conversion kit that are just for the Station 1. The first part is the Station 1 locator. It is located underneath the mechanism. As you pull out on the mechanism, it will expose this locator and you can lift it out. And, as all parts on the Dillon, it will have either a number or a letter designating the size. To put the locator in, it's the same sequence. Pull back on Station 1 and drop it in. The next three parts in your caliber conversion kit to deal with station one are going to be on the case 
feed drop system. Uh, the first one is going to be your case feed tube adapter or your case feed adapter. These are color coded and there happens to be a notch to put this one in correctly. The next one is your feed arm bushing and this feed arm bushing is the exact same color as your case feed tube adapter. The last piece in your caliber conversion kit for station one will be your body bushing. These body bushings come in sizes like small, medium, and large. To change this bushing, it threads in underneath the feed arm drop system. So, it has two holes in it, and Dylan suggests that you take an Allen wrench and put it in one of the holes and use it to loosen and tighten the body bushing. Once you have it loosened, just unthread the body bushing and then you can go ahead and get your body bushing from your other kit and thread it in its place. Once the body bushing's in, Dylan suggests again to go ahead and use an Allen wrench to tighten it. That there is uh, the basic operation and basic parts to the case feed mechanism on the Dillon 650. Thanks for watching.